To create a circle transition, we are first just going to go to layer, new solid, press OK on this, and then we are just going to create a circle in the middle of our solid. So to do that, we'll go to the rectangle tool, select the ellipse tool, hold down shift on the keyboard if you're on Mac. If you're on Windows, I believe that might be alt or it could also be shift. Then we'll turn on the proportional grid. We'll move this up into the center and we'll turn that back off. Now you want to go into that mask. You want to select inverted and we'll pull the mask expansion all the way down until the screen is filled. So that is somewhere around here. We'll keep going. So in my example, that is negative 615. So we'll go to the point where the two clips meet, create a new keyframe on mask expansion, and then we'll go 10 frames to the left, which is there. Then we'll pull that all the way up until we can see the complete video and no transition. So keep going, keep going, keep going. And that is 1734. So I'm going to copy that keyframe. So highlight, command C or control C. Then we'll go to the center point and go 10 frames to the right. And then we'll just paste that on to the solid again. So we've got our start transition, we've got the midpoint, and then we've got the end. So when we play this back, you'll see that is the transition now complete. Now, if you wanted to slow this down, then all you need to do is pull the first keyframe to the left a certain amount of frames. And then you want to try and repeat that. And then you want to repeat that for the last keyframe. So move that over how many times you move the first one. So if the first one moved three, move the second one three. But when we play this back, you'll see that is the circle transition now complete.